just a simple fact of it, it's kind of like people know what spring cleaning is. You clean in the spring, you know, right after the winter season has been over and everything. Because during the winter season, when it's cold and you're not moving around a lot, you're stuck in the house, accumulation of stuff builds up. And that's why you used to have the whole spring cleaning thing, because people would realize that their house is a mess after all the months of being, you know, in the winter. But I didn't get any good sleep at all last night. I'm being texted, terrorized, on and on and on. Oh, uh -uh. I, I guess you could say, well, why ain't you already your number 10? Well, you know. Number one, it cost money, and I just had it changed and paid for it changed last time. So I don't know, maybe I'm choosing to hold on to it to punish myself. I don't know. I block every time I call or something comes through. But I don't know why people have to try to be so evil towards me and hate me. You know, even in real life, people that you'd have issues with or whatever, even if they couldn't be resolved, wouldn't ever go to the lengths or points that I've experienced with this online stuff. And it's Frankly, it's crazy. I don't like it. I don't care who calls me a name or a punk or pussy or anything. Carolina, man. It's like I was blocked over at your channel. Make sure I ain't blocked over there, man, because I couldn't leave a comment while ago. I was trying to leave you a comment and telling you why my channel was gone. I took it off, and I'm going to probably take it back off, but I, 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 didn't, I didn't like how I took it off without, because I, I think the last time that I streamed, I don't believe there was a lot of people here. And I'm hopefully only getting good-hearted people in here. If anybody comes in here and they say anything negative at all, block them. It is my space, and I'm tired of being harassed in it. But, you know, taking it down is the only way I can keep from getting uh, notifications about stupid stuff. You know, trying to gaslight me and lie to me into getting me to almost screw my own self and, and say it's too much. You know, I, I've been played on that game so many times that uh, you, you can't get me on that again. No matter how much you try to gaslight or tell me I've done this, that when I know I didn't, it, it ain't going to work. You know try to take advantage of the fact that my memory is not as good because of uh, the issues I've grown up with and what I have, but my memory still ain't that bad. I'm tired of, of this guy running around coming in chats and constantly is saying that you know, because that's their mission now is to get me removed from my school program. That's what they, they, they claim that they're trying to do, you know. And just ignore the obvious fact of how slimy and snaky that is, especially when they have no idea how I'm even other than the grades I've shared, they have no idea how 
what the impression is of certain people with regards to me and how I'm doing. They have no idea. And they just, you know, here they know, here they are knowing that I've had a wreck and I've been through a lot of traumatic stuff and had a hard life. And I come back home a couple of years ago and I've worked all the time I was here up until recently when we got rid of the car and everything. And then I was at a crossroads of, well, am I going to try to go back for disability or am I going to find me, um, you know, something that I can do? I didn't want to go for the disability. And that, that was my grandfather's suggestion. And so I chose to seek out voc rehab. And at first I was thinking of dental assisting, but the jobs and, and there aren't as good, aren't as many needed. There's a lot of saturation with a lot of people that have that already and keep getting it. You know, I looked at some different programs and I finally decided on going back to what I had done before and came so close to finishing before and a wreck is what kept me from finishing. I had an A in the class. I was doing well. Everything. And they know all that because they got it off my Facebook. There was a picture of me and everyone else in class that we had taken years ago and our uniforms and all that. And I, I've seen the picture around. I've seen people deface it just like all the other pictures they've taken of me and defaced it. I've seen the pictures of my mom's grave, not really her grave, but you know, they made up a grave and put her initials on it and put a picture of me right next to her. Uh, with something in my mouth, you know, to make it look disrespectful and a bunch of other people's faces. I have no idea who they are. And my mom went through enough pain in her life that she doesn't need any grief in the afterlife. I know my mom loves me and I know she's with me and she's trying. I know all she can do to help send me positive energy so I'm not over encumbered by these people. Because I am, I am worn out. I am, I don't feel good. I'm upset. I'm nervous, anxious. I haven't had much of an appetite. I don't even feel like doing the things that I'd planned to do today. Trying to clean out some stuff and 
and do things and do something with brownie and stuff. And I can already tell from how depressed and stuff I feel along with this lack of sleep and everything else that like I already don't feel like doing it. And I need to do it, you know, that's bad. I was going to give Brownie a haircut for one and uh, do some some straightening up that needs done. And if my granddad had anything I was going to help him with. I got his TV finally to work. Uh, something stupid is going on. It's uh, it's also lonely being in a situation like this because nobody can relate. A lot of most can't, and. You don't want to share it or even talk about it with anyone newer that might not know about it because you have to explain so much and it, it just seems out there. You know what I mean? And they thrive on those facts. You know. They're hoping whoever I talk to, whatever officer or whoever that I report stuff to and or any other person, they're hoping that they just take me and assume me as a basket case or paranoid type. Well, I'm actually not, you know, you, you call me a junk box, but here's the thing. I think I may have a total of three metabolites in my system completely. And you know what? Those three metabolites are technically and been by doctor after doctor after doctor after doctor. Throughout the years since I've had my health issues, been prescribed consistently. So, yeah, junk box, no. Um, dependent on prescription medication for some conditions, yes. Said that I'm going to be curb stomped, say that I'm going to be dead, that it's over for me. My neighbor appreciates their cash apps like they got their my neighbor in their back pocket. That is a whole nother level of stalking right there. And when JM just admitted that, it just, it, more and more, I feel like, well, I can't be surprised anymore. And they, do exactly just that but it, it almost feels like I'm alone because everybody else is just like oh yeah because I think you guys are too quick to assume that a lot of what all they say is just troll BS in other words it's just meant to elicit the reaction right then and there and there's no truth to it I don't believe all that 
I believe, and you, come on, think about it. You look at any type of, uh, of literature on the subject, especially when it comes to, there, there's a bunch of different things out there that you could uh, listen to and learn about when it comes to uh, groups and different things. And one of the things that some groups would do is, of course, they have to lie, but they also, and almost have to, every now and then, slide a slice of truth in there or even say something that they might be doing that technically would be viewed normally as wrong. But when they said it, it was like nobody, nobody batted a fucking eye. I, I don't know how you would be other than going through the phone book because you got my address. And, you know, you guys really should, I hope. And, of course, this is uh, not really meant to be taken literally, but you really should be sending a check to Canine Rescue because if not for that guy, and what he did by manipulating me on the phone all those months back, man, a lot of things you guys have done would not have been possible if not for him. He laid the foundation for your work, if you can even call it that. So thank you again, uh, Scott, I believe it was, K-9, for telling me that you wanted to send me a gift and help me out just to get my address to divulge on the Internet. Let me give you a round of applause. You know, and the phone number, trying to lie and say that you paid Gene $100 to get it, knowing that you got it straight from Red Eye Patriot, the little sleeper cell that I didn't know about. No wonder you would not swear. I mean, and you can say out of principle you wouldn't do it, whatever. But that's why I asked you to to, to swear on that red eye, because I knew you wouldn't. And I knew it wasn't going to be from out of principle, whether you said it or not. Who are you talking to, Carolina? If there's somebody in there with that name, I don't see them. Which would mean they got me blocked so they could be in here so I don't so I can't see what they say. You know. They don't want me going off here, and I'm almost, been almost for a long time past the point of knowing that, you know, and 
definitely for the foreseeable future, regardless of any of the external dynamics, I'm not going to, I can't waver from it. If I do, I'm just going to cause myself more suffering and despair and trouble than I could care to have. So, I hope you all feel real proud of yourselves. You've, uh, you've done something worse than just beat me up or, uh, embarrass me. No, no. You've uh, flat out desecrated and degraded not only me, my family, but my mom, her family, my other family. You called and intruded on others' lives. You even managed to get our electricity shut off. <laughs> oh, that was a that was a good one you were saving to do, huh? Send breakfast and foods to the house constantly. Even though our best intent what is always tell McDonald's, whoever that you know, it's it's a a farce. Uh, that person doesn't live here. And they're sending in as a way to harass through you guys, and uh, it never fails. They always end up coming back if uh, another delivery's been made. Technically, it's been coming from the you know, restaurant itself and sealed up, right? And so you'd think that nothing's messed up with the food because yesterday I was sent a uh, apple scone, I guess. It's like a, almost like a bear claw, but it's a donut thing made out of cinnamon and got apple flavors, thing, whatever. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I ate it. I ate it. You know, uh, Rebel had been talking about food that morning and going out and getting something. I was hungry, and uh, I looked at it and I said, well, "This has been sealed up, and only people at the restaurant touched it." Right? And he said, "Yeah." So I ate it. So you know, since all the bullcrap you put me through, why don't you go ahead and send me another one? I I'd love to have another one this morning. I, I'm not kidding at all. Go ahead. You already know my address. You've already sent it before. Um, just just one apple scone. That's all I need. You know, I'm a simple guy. That, 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 that's all I care for. You know. And hey, it's all right. If you don't do it, that's cool. Uh, I'm actually asking you to do it this time. You know, the other times you did it on, on your own will. Uh, this time I'm asking. If you don't do it, that's cool because I'll go make my own breakfast like I usually do because I'm a grown person. But, you know, and, and it's really clear that I need to make everyone aware that ever watched. And because I, I may think about just leaving this up. But these people that are attacking me and saying they're going to hurt me physically and try and threaten my um, education pursuits that they've gotten details about through whatever way. Um, I know that I've only shared like grades and tests that I've taken and quizzes and that I'm studying. I haven't shared, you know, 
anything about it. So th th they're getting all kinds of uh, of supposed details, you know, and I'm, I'm not confirming nor uh, denying anything of theirs or engaging with them because I was advised that's the best course of action. And so that's what I continue to still do. But you need to know that these people that reached out to me said they re were reaching out and doing all of this character assassination, humiliation videos, and roasting videos, and uh, videos meant to incite fear or anger or whatever. They were doing it because they knew secretly I'm having struggle with my recovery and they just want to get me into recovery. Make that make sense. We're going to torture and bug the little twerp to death in the hope that he comes running to us when we offer help. Perfect plan, yeah. Perfect plan. Sounds, sounds like a great idea. Like, are you are you crapping me? That 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 that's the excuse because that is the excuse. Apple turnover, whatever, you know. As long as it's from McDonald's and, you know, they want to send it. Now, they've sent stuff here and not had it paid for. And, of course, that, that's even, that, that's horrible because, hell, then you feel bad for the person that actually brought it. Because uh, I did deliveries. I know what it's like to uh, bring something that's already been prepaid. You don't get a tip or. And then on top of that, imagine that there's an issue with the order or something or it's wrong or, you know, I, I've had those things. And delivery personnel usually isn't involved in making uh, the food at most places. Some places they do help out on some items. But, you know. It, it's it's really weird and mixed signal type of messages like those that keep me on my toes no pun intended with these this group and individuals they've disrespected my local law enforcement and then they got the nerve to say that I am a police hater because I post and share videos about police doing botched type of jobs or doing straight up illegal crimes and are caught and charged. And more and more that's happening. And you know what? I'm completely for it. I don't like qualified immunity. I don't think that's right. Um, there was just a man killed for sleeping in his car. Granted, yeah, he was, you know, probably whatever. Who knows? He could have just fell out from exhaust. You don't know. Uh, and before that, any of that could be found out, they rush and treat him like, I don't know, maybe, I guess they automatically thought he was being uncooperative or something. And they shot him. They killed him. I don't have to bring up the case in Memphis with the, the person stopped for so-called reckless driving. But, you know... I don't think I've seen any footage yet of the so-called reckless driving. And uh, they send a gang unit, a specialized tactical 
elite squad so-called unit of officers after this guy or they just happen to be in the area intercept the call and now you got a national thing going on where they're looking at this and not only are the police officers being you know charged and whatnot you got a situation where the first responders and other people that were there and witnessed what happened and saw some of the behaviors and stuff and didn't say up or speak up they are being fired so it looks like that you know if you allow yourself take a code of silence for other workers or personnel and when it's a live human being that you know your work is centered around you better report what the truth was on the whole incident what you witnessed you really better because i tell you left and right um police off uh departments and officers being not only charged arrested and sued but there's more of a divide than ever in the country and i hate that because a lot a lot if not the majority i believe police are are the good guys they just want to be the good guys and they're stuck in a system that does not do them a lot of favors as far as their mental health and physical well-being i don't i I don't think i i I don't think you know police officers have a very highly stressful job they have to worry about their safety you know i i get it i am not unsympathetic to police police officers plight you know how much you know there's not that many people that that stand up and say oh i'll do that job you know that's a hard job having to protect and serve a community, I would imagine that's a very, very hard job. And with, I mean, great responsibility, great power, I mean, you know, comes great responsibility, whatever. But to know that they were taking pictures of him and sending it while at the scene is just disturbing. It's messed up. And, you know, I've always said that the content on my channel that I'm interested in with true crime and everything else, it's always been varied and always is varied. And uh, some of it's uh, similar in like, you know, with like Ruin Leon and other different channels, like they tend to stay with a certain different type of content. But you don't ever see me hardly, usually, unless it's just something that's going around so much that I feel like I got to look at it even though I probably shouldn't have now looking back in hindsight, like with the Cyrax thing and everything else, like I don't like that I gave energy to that. I feel ashamed of myself for giving energy to that, watching it. When I was watching it at another live event, wouldn't believe how small of a world YouTube is. Fusion was there and said, that's what's going to happen to you. Really? You know.
I was watching the uh, Christy McIndae case earlier. I could not imagine going through what she did. Oh, yeah. Well, I shouldn't, you know, that's creepy that, that you're calling me a baby boy, but, um, I think I may want to show something. Hold on just a second. You know, I, I believe there's a lot of people out here that, you know, especially that are involved in the stuff with me are parents. And no, I'm not trying to talk about their children or their family. I just want to show them some interest. Tonight is sad and very painful story to report, but a story that is so important in the fight against bullying. A 14 year old girl dying by suicide in Ocean County, New Jersey, taking her own life one day after girls in her class beat her up. One day afterwards, well, now her father and fellow classmates demanding accountability from the school. A disclaimer, some of the video may be tough to watch. Here's Michelle, Michelle Charlesworth. This is the school hallway assault posted online, followed by online bullying that this grieving father said caused his 14-year-old daughter to die by suicide. The cell phone video was taken one week ago. Adriana died Friday. They think it's fun to attack people and make videos and post them. Getting hit in the face with a bo water bottle didn't hurt Adriana. What hurt Adriana was the embarrassment and humiliation. They the embarrassment and humiliation. Just kept coming at her. Michael Cush has not slept trying to mourn his daughter and get justice for Adriana. The freshman was hit in the face with a full 20 ounce water bottle three times. On the video, punched and kicked, her hair pulled at school while classmates laughed and recorded the attack. What is all of this about? He says seemingly nothing but meanness and bullying. He says his daughter deserved none of this and was tormented after the videos were posted online and then when she saw nasty comments. Adriana. I don't know how you're standing up. Um, what a thing for a family to have to go through. What what sort of um, sort of a girl was Megan? Oh, Megan was bright. She was vivacious. She was she was happy. She was hugely popular. She was sporty, uh, confident, outgoing, fiercely independent. She was just a normal happy-go-lucky teenager. And she was a teenager. And social media as we now know only too well, is a huge part of their lives. It is, yeah. Megan was, um, as my other children are, she was constantly on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. Um, but it is. It's just another example.
something really important, a message that parents really want to get out, and um, and we should be talking about it here. It's an important warning for parents uh, and their children about cyberbullying, and Amy Robach is here this morning with much more on that. Hey. That's right. Hey, guys, and this is really a huge issue for young people. Firstly, and you may be wondering, okay, well, that's kids. You're an adult. Grow some thick skin and get over it. Well, if you guys are getting so comfortable and we're going to enter an arena now where adults are cyber mobbing, bullying, and attacking other adults, what do you think that's going to look like five, ten years down the road? It's going to be mainstream and everyday thing then for the mobbing and cyberbullying and growing bigger with younger people. And that could include one of your own children involved in it or involved in receiving it. And I don't think anybody wants that. I don't want that for any of the people. For any of you that have hurt me, that have children, believe me, I don't want that to happen to your children or anything. I don't wish ill on you. I forgive you. I forgive you even though you're not sorry or apologetic. I, I, I forgive you. But I'm not forgetting and I'm not going to allow it to keep happening. This is going to have to come to an end. I don't know what you think you're going to do, but you're not going to do anything. And you're from Pennsylvania. Noticed I left out the city. And you need to stop. And find some people that would that, that don't mind going back and forth with you like that. I guarantee you'd have better fun. And there's no discount or discounting or having to take the risk in the area of bad karma. And not knowing what you may cause another person who you say you don't give any shits about, but yet at the same time, y'all's narrative is that you want to get me hell, you know, right? I mean, you've admitted several times you've told me to quote your words, pull the trigger. You've told me to, quote, hurry up. We don't believe you. you you'll do it. Uh, you told me, quote, that you're going to get me locked up, committed, uh, stomped, put in uh, water with cement blocks. I mean, you've come up with everything. And this is where I block that account because this is a lie. Go ahead and tell everybody how you already sent a uh, agent from the health and senior services that came down here and found out that your claims were bullshit. My grandfather 
went outside one day and was greeted by that person. And I didn't even know he was outside talking to somebody until when I started looking around for him, I looked out and I saw him outside talking and I let him finish. And I went outside because I was wondering, well, are we doing something for lunch? And that's when I stumbled upon came upon him. And uh, I started telling him, yeah, I, I apologize. Uh, but, and, you know, he said, your grandfather's already told me everything. He said, he said, I, I'm sorry to be here too, you know, but, you know, you, you don't mind wasting state resources like that, I guess. It's no skin off your back. Hell, you don't pay any taxes in this state. Gonna send something for nothing and claim something that could never be the truth because it could be anything but far, far, far from the truth. That's how unbelievable that stuff is. It's such a farce, like, to say that. I have the nerve to say it. Them knowing that that's, like, one of my last living close relatives I got. And they want to try to attack. And they have even tried to attack and separate and cause division in this relationship. These people have no sense of the word or phrase or meaning of boundaries. I guarantee you when it comes to their life, they do. I guarantee it when it comes to some of their peers, they do. I guarantee it if they had, have, or had any bosses before that they did. Like, you know, but when you get on this internet and you're behind that keyboard and you feel all powerful uh, and that, like, you can do anything because you've convinced yourself that you're this filthy animal and this cartoon image and nobody knows who you really are and you may be lying about the whole whatever name that you have let get out there because it's funny how it got out there i don't really think i even understand how it did get out there so all we know is that you, you're just playing a, a complete game around everybody and it, it's really you know sick and just about time for it to end i think You know, you guys can keep trying whatever you uh, end up ultimately trying to do will be what you, you do. But, I mean, all I can say is that I forgive you and if I ever did anything, you, you got to understand and you should know since you were firing all the shots at me first. But if I ever did anything out of anger or, or upset or frustration and said something back that just made things worse or stoked the flames, I look at it now as a personal failure on my part. And I'm accepting myself apology to myself and I'm also saying sorry to any of those people even though most people would tell me not to apologize to them for anything but I, I will apologize one time genuinely the only time to these people that 
we'll forget about who started what, even though, you know, whatever. But, I, I mean, if you keep it up, I mean, I'm just not going to, then you're keeping it up at this point. Just like all the times before when I begged you to stop messing with me. I literally got online and I begged and pleaded like anybody would who is begging and pleading. And I probably just got laughed at. But I would have thought that it may have maybe got somebody to catch on to something and realize that holy shit yeah maybe I am too hard on myself maybe that's just how I'm raised to be or it's a result of all the crap going on with this but I thought it'd be fitting and fair to I never at all thought that it was going to become what it has. I saw myself maybe narrating over or talking about certain content and videos and reacting to it, given my uh, opinion on certain parts related to it in regards to like realistic stuff or not, or true crime. I saw myself doing all that and getting to meet people. And, and that's all I really wanted to do was to meet people and you know be a part of bigger things than just you know being online alone you know I'd rather if I could work in a you know setting or meet other people that are interested in the same thing then it's a win-win but you know Oh, how much we dream and then when we get to the actual spot, how much different things are from the dream. I don't know where Andrea is. I sincerely, part of me hopes that uh, her and Army of that aren't mad at me or anything, but I mean, I, I'd almost really wish that, like, I don't know what I wish, but, you know, it, that's the problem, not knowing what exactly to believe, like I said from the beginning. So, because for 90% of people on earth, to believe means they think they know. But always remember, belief truly means you think you know it that way with a lot of faith, but you really don't know to a certainty. Everybody have a good rest of the day and weekend. I may plan to just leave this up if it's down. And one day might be back up again. Who knows? Peace.